Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to discuss the last property of this Laplace transform that is the integral property of Laplace transform. So let we will see the property followed by the proof of this property and then an example on it. Okay, so let us see what this property is all about. So the Laplace transform of uh, integral says if you have Laplace transform of f of t as f of s then prove that Laplace transform of integral is f of s by s and then we have to deduce one result from this property only okay so let us uh, start with the given thing proof given Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s okay that is given we have to prove this right to prove Laplace transform of integration 0 to t f of u du is equal to f of s by s this is we have to prove okay so let us start with uh, by taking this integral so let g of t is equal to integration 0 to t f of u du okay therefore g of 0 t equal to 0 0 0 so f g of 0 is 0 and and g dash of t is equal to f of t okay now therefore you can write now laplace transform of this what is this this is g of t okay g of 0 is 0 g dash of t is 0 now laplace transform of g dash of t by the property we have this is to be s g of s minus g of 0 okay by by laplace transform of derivative property okay so this implies laplace transform of g dash of t what is laplace transform of g dash of t is f of t so this is laplace transform of f of t is equal to s what is g of s g of s means laplace transform of g of t minus g of 0 so for the time being I will write it as it is Laplace transform of g dash of t is equal to s only I am changing this g of s means Laplace transform of g of t minus g of 0 ok now you just substitute this implies what is g of g dash of t f of t so this is Laplace transform of f of t is equal to s Laplace transform of g of t so this is Laplace transform. What is g of t? This integration 0 to t f of u du minus what is this g of 0? Is 0 that we have already found out. Right? Now Laplace transform of f of t is Laplace transform of f of t is f of s. So this is f of s. Now take this s to the left. So this is f of s by s is equal to Laplace transform of integration 0 to t f of u du no need to write down 0 okay and that is what we wanted to prove right so this is the property of Laplace transform of integral now as you can see we have to find out one result also okay so we can 
find it here only. So what we have, we have to find out Laplace transform of integration 0 to t sin u du. Okay, what we have, we have this, right? So what we want, we want just f of s. What is my f of u? f of u is sin. So here in the second part, you can just write second part. Here f of u is equal to sin u. Therefore, f therefore Laplace transform of f of u is equal to Laplace transform of sin u which is 1 upon s square plus 1 which is f of s therefore by property therefore by property Laplace transform of integration from 0 to t f of u du is equal to f of s by s f of s we have already found out so this is 1 upon f of s by s that is Laplace transform of integration 0 to t sin u du is equal to what is f of s already s is there and f of s is 1 upon s square plus 1 so this is the second part of the result that we wanted to find right so i hope the problem that uh, and the property that has been discussed here is clear to you and one remark i would like to make to prove this property i have made make use of the laplace transform of derivative property okay if you don't want to make use of this property then you can go with the definition of laplace transform also just make use of uh, laplace transform of definition like Laplace transform of f of t is integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt and then just replace the function f of t by this integral 0 to t f of u du then you will get double integration then make use of change of order of integration then you have to draw the strips and all those uh, things you have to do and you will get this result okay so this result can be done by two ways by this way and the other way is other way is what is it by change the order of integration okay so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you